In 2019, I started a project to sonically capture the mood and atmosphere of every hour of the day. The result was a beat tape called 24. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at the process behind one of those songs. So let's take a look at the song 10 AM More. The song's core arrangement is made up of just five simple layers. Let's start with the drums. The drums are played and recorded by Ryan James Carr, a drummer and producer from Kansas City, Missouri. Ryan has his own style of recording and mixing drums with a very tight, compressed sound that I knew would fit this track really well. We worked remotely over FaceTime and bounced ideas back and forth. Having a real drum kit with some subtle percussion really brought this track to life. The beat's fairly consistent throughout with some variations such as switching to the rim during the verse and back to the snare for the bigger parts of the song. The next main part of the track is the chopped up piano sample. I started by recording these piano chords one by one and then chopping each one up and putting them into a drum machine so that they could be played with a more robotic, stuttering kind of feel. The part that really adds to the groove of the song is the bass line. I used a virtual instrument modelled off a Fender P bass to get a more natural sound to the bass. The line is a mixture of short, syncopated notes and longer notes drawn out at the end of each bar. When the verse comes around, the bass switches to sustained notes, which feel more chilled and less driving and rhythmic. Once the main parts were down, I added a couple of layers to bring some more warmth to the track, starting with a Fender Rhodes playing some drawn out chords that move up the octaves. And lastly, I added a Mellotron flute sample, which was recorded from the Nord Electro 5D. I used something called a sidechain to link all of these sounds to the kick drum. After almost a full minute of instrumental, we are introduced to the vocals. Life has got me working hard and making plans Trying to build a castle in the sinking sand The lyrics in the verses were inspired by the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 2. Then I considered all that my hands had done, and behold, all was vanity and a striving after wind. And I don't want to chase the wind Building temporary things I was thinking a lot about the things that we can take a lot of time and energy over that in the end don't have eternal significance. Maybe it's a platform or a social media following and in the end none of that stuff really matters and I wanted to lean into some of the questioning and longing of that Ecclesiastes passage rather than trying to answer every question within the song which can be easy to do sometimes and so I wanted to finish with a statement that still had this longing like I was made for more. I was made for more The vocal sample at the end is actually taken from an old song I found on an archive of radio recordings from the 1930s. The female vocal is actually singing one, two, three, four, and I took that sample, chopped it up again, repitched certain notes, and played it over the beat to create this kind of strange, wordless, melodic hook. I spent a lot of time working on different ways to transition between the tracks in a seamless way. This one was inspired by a lot of hip hop albums and beat tapes that use short samples as a way to transition. And so the track ends with another old recorded sample before switching to the next track, 11am, Everything Beautiful. 